Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss our favorite cheap bourbon bar pours. My name is McNeil. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Tim Swaya and Darren McRoy. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey, guys. We're shaking. Hey, y'all. Hey, well, we're going to be talking about cheap bourbon pours today, That uh, things that we might focus on at the bar, or maybe just help people out with uh, providing some direction as to th- some things they should look at. Again, this is like if you want to save a buck. If you're out there to explore, find some new items, taste things that you don't have at the house, that's fine. That's fine. But there's other times when you go, particularly when you have a big collection at the house, and, and some of it's just, hey, I'm, I'm out with my buddies, out with my friends. But I don't want to spend a ton of money. I want to focus on the things that are good, but are cheaper price. And that's what we're going to focus on on the show today. Tim, before we get to that, you said there's something you want to talk about. What is that, sir? Yeah, so I have a new store that I absolutely despise and refuse to ever spend a dollar or go into ever again. Okay. Uh, I'm curious to hear if you have any stores that you're like, nope, doesn't matter, but you're forced to go to because your significant other is going to go there. Anyways, your kids like it or, your, or whoever you're with likes it, you're, but it's a service that you just force you just absolutely hate going into. And I'm not talking about the ABV barrel shop. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Does a gas station count? Sure. Yes. If you um, the Circle K. So we have Circle Ks here. And yeah. one of the ladies pissed me off one time and I refused oh. to go to one ever again. And no matter the K? state, anything? Circle K. I do not, I will not go spend any money at another one. I like but my K. husband likes them. Chris likes them because he has like their stupid ass app and he saves money there. Sure, so when yep. I'm driving and I need gas, he's like, well, I'll get it if you go to Circle K. I'm like, nope, never mind. Not going. I don't care if we. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run out of gas, I guess. I, we will <sighs> park on the side of this goddamn road. I am not going to Circle K. What the hell? Like, no, she was, no, she was incredibly rude to me. Because they uh, have these, so they don't have a self checkout per se. Which yeah. you're, you're buying two I, cases I, of ranch, and she's like, no, "Why is so much I, ranch?" I, I like to, no, listen, <laughs> I like a self checkout. They don't have a self checkout, but they have a okay. stupid ass little scale thing that you're supposed to put your crap on. And I didn't. Most gas that. stations don't have self checkout. Well, checkouts, Most. none of them no, do. So I didn't nah, there's, I've seen one before. I didn't I understand the concept of where they wanted me to put my stuff, and the lady okay. was really rude about it. Instead of just saying, "Oh no, it goes over here," she was incredibly rude to me, and I just won't go to another one. I be better. <laughs> just, How long no. ago was this? It's been a year. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> yeah, that, I deem that a long term relationship now. <laughs> Yeah. I um I I do hold some grudges. I uh, I just yes. you, she could have been nicer. It, what, what are they? What's the the big sodas they call? It's something pop, something ice. No, polar, pops. polar pops. Oh, polar. polar pops are good, so I have sacrificed I, my love for. A I polar could pop. see you yeah. totally having a polar pop and carrying it around. That seems like your style, yeah. right there. Okay, so now I go to Casey's because they also have fountain pops. I don't need their stupid. Well, polar if pop. Casey's is an option. Of course, that's where you have to go. Casey's oh, is correct. the best. Casey's is the breakfast best. Breakfast pizza. 
Yeah, regular Casey pizzas. <laughs> I was gonna say any of their pizzas. I their taco don't think pizzas really good. would want to carry around that Polar Pop though. So yeah. do. I mean, they come in this. Carry it around like a Stanley Cup. Cup. <laughs> but no, so uh, no, they played me mad, and Chris was like, "Which lady was it?" And I told him exactly who she was, and he's like, "Oh, she's always so sweet." I'm like, "Well, she fucking wasn't to me, and I'm not going to go a Circle K anymore." So really? I have boycotted them because of one lady. What about the Polar Pops, though? No, I don't need them. Look without them. I'll go get a subpar pop somewhere else. Really? Yeah. Huh. So your Chris Circle K experience Polar Pops was out. ruined. Yeah, it's, yeah. it was all ruined. Rich, mm-hmm. rich. And he's like, we can save 10 cents. I'm like, I do not care. What about, th- <laughs> where do you buy your ranch now? I don't. <laughs> where do you buy your A1 for your Doritos? At the no, grocery she's... store, like a normal person. He kids. steals her mom. She Whoa. doesn't buy A1. A1 and Doritos? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's her thing. It's, you got to try it, Darren. It's like a delicacy. No, I don't. But no, yeah, no, <laughs> it's regular, regular nacho cheese Doritos dipped in A1 sauce. It's my favorite snack. No. That is a great way to no. ruin a good thing. You ruined it. You it's all ruined. It. It's so good. No, no. Huh. I tell you what I had today for dinner. Uh, I had a steak, but then a pasta on the side, and I ate it with a spoon. I ate that pasta. Uh, right. What'd you do with your fork? Right. That's no, what the steak's for. What are you eating your steak with? Yeah, I ate, bare I ate the steak, the steak? No, I ate the steak with the fork. Goes into I, meat, the other one with the pasta, the it, was the, it was like the mini bow ties, oh, the wow. little ones. Oh, oh, that's a good oh, one, I needed yeah. the spoon. I needed the spoon. Yeah. You did and not. it was delicious. And the spoon was yeah. like, oh, it was the best no. uh, delivery spoon. device out there. Yeah, it was, it was perfect. kind of like how I eat my cereal with a fork. People don't get yeah. me on that one. See, you should. You could you could hook all the little Cheerios on their own little tines. Big little. There you go. I Perfect. enjoy eating cereal. How is that quicker? Like, it's not. It's not. It's just better. It's like it's bobbing like... for apples. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna take some time. What yes. is your? Uh, well, maybe you're on the same. Uh, f- is you know cereal uh, with the uh, with the milk. I like having milk in there, but I don't like drink the milk when it's over. To me, that's just that's spent milk. I just throw it away at the end. No, you have to. So, drink so the fork would be good. The fork would be good. Cereal. No, I put up with the it's to terrible. Eat the milk. The yes. milk. Yes. Eat the milk. Yes. Eat the milk. Nom, nom, nom. No. Yes. Oh, Mickey, where do you fall on this? Um, so I don't like milk and I don't put it no, on my course. cereal. If I of have course. cereal, I just fry cereal. No, oh, she eats a fruit loop with ranch. It makes sense. Yeah. God, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. McNew, oh, my God. Uh, the, 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 you need a Sorry, book audience. of the McNew rules. It's called <laughs> the McNew rules. <laughs> and it's just all, <laughs> I would buy this book because it's just fascinating. The yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, was there a small talk? Did we do? A yeah, McNew, McNew's boycotting Circle K. She's been boycotting yeah, Circle K for over a year. Stores. That was yeah. a small talk. No. Oh, that what stores? It's, what yeah. stores are you? Like uh, yeah. yeah. What, is there any stores out there that you are just absolutely done with? Or, Tim, I guess did I've you have one? one on my list? Well, what's your what's yours? Mine is Trader Joe's. Oh. That store, I, I can't stand it. I don't drive a Jeep. Yeah. I don't give ducks on freaking cars. I don't have a lot of flannel or Hawaiian Aloha prints. My hair's not purple. I just there's a whole host of things wrong with the store. I walk in there and I swear to God, the whole entire store's mood changes because they know I just absolutely despise the store. Okay. And I can't get out of there fast enough. So I, I refuse to walk in that store anymore. You're done I, with I, it. Do, I will say I like a Trader Joe's occasionally for, for certain things, but they're so damn expensive. They are sure. so expensive. They're pricey. But but they are Aldi's sister store, and Aldi's is so much cheaper with the same quality of produce. I freaking love Aldi, but oh, Trader yeah. Joe's with shitty quality uh, produce. Re- yeah. No, better. I like Aldi. Aldi's no. produce is Aldi's. terrible. It's it is literally the worst part about Not Aldi here. is their produce. Not mine. Yeah. You know where they get it in, in St. Louis? They go to the Schnucks dumpsters when they, when yeah. they dump it. Then that's where it's, you find it at Aldi the next day. It's yeah. the only place where it's all organic without charging you organic prices. No. It is here. Organic. Just because it's rotten does not mean it's organic. <laughs> do. I don't know yeah. if you knew that. Yeah. Ours is good. I like our Aldi. I go there Aldi. regularly. No. no. We no. go into Trader Joe's in the springtime because they have a flower section and an herb section, and they do not know how to price this thing right. You're getting like huge pots of herbs and stuff to put in the garden for like 20% of where everywhere else, even cheaper than Home Depot and everything like that by really? the size. So really? I only walk in there generally once or twice a year, and every okay. time I walk in there, I just I can't believe I'm walking in the store. I refuse. You to You feel there, dirty but... after you've been in there. Yeah, I, I, I have to take a shower. I'm I have done. to take a shower. Yeah. Okay. I'm not their people. All right. So my answer to the small talk, right, was um, Alta. Alta. 
<laughs> no, Alta is better than what I'm about to say. Okay. I have a problem. Um, the first one started in college. We'd go there all the time because we were college kids and we had to go somewhere. Walmart. Well, Dude, not Walmart's Walmart terrible. Anymore. Walmart's mm-hmm. terrible. I hope to never go into Walmart ever again either. Yeah, I don't me want too. to go in one. Uh, and then also, yes, same vein, but I will never go into Target with someone of the opposite gender. Nope. I will go in. If, if Steve and Tim want to go into Target, let's go. Well, why is it? If Big wants to go, nope, I'm not going. Okay, so let me say, Darren, people of the opposite gender don't want to go with you either. When I go to Target, Chris can sit his ass at home and not bother me. So well, I, I don't it's better for everyone here. if I follow that rule. So, <laughs> and why is this? unaccompanied, unaccompanied, and unsupervised husbands or spouses or significant others at Target is a real problem in America these days. Really? Every time the general takes me to Target, the alarm clocks go off every five minutes. <laughs> it's a holiday time. All the socks. It's going to say eat dick or penis <laughs> or something like that on <laughs> anything. They, they purposely. <laughs> follow me in the store they know i'm the i'm the sock bandit the stocking bandit that okay. will put inappropriate words I'm using their stockings. To hear that, Tim. it's yeah. a deer you know any of the deer uh camera okay anything like that anything i can put in inappropriate poses that's me i do that okay. to be able to get forced out i want to get tossed out and banned from target so i can never go back <laughs> tim tim had fun with this where other husbands like so the thing about target is like oh we need to get laundry detergent or we need to get toothpaste you're going for like practical things okay but you leave with a cart full of nonsense and you spend 300 extra dollars which is why he's not allowed to go because he will take those things out of my cart and i want them so i need to (laughs) want them (laughs) so you want to spend the 300 i do want to spend the 300 dollars okay it's called amazon random shit off amazon no, it's right. more like it's more or like it just feels like such like a nice. Oh, day. there's more things in a Target than on Amazon. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. It's just a nicer day. Like I could be like, okay, I'm going to go to Target. We need three things. I'll be 20 minutes. I'm going to spend two hours enjoying my day, smelling the candles, touching the blankets, buying the pillows. Like I want to touch all the things in the Target. Uh, really? Yes. It's weird to Target. walk around the store with somebody that's touching everything. <laughs> and right. that's not a child. <laughs> yeah. I am a child. <laughs> I just go to the grocery store. That's it. Uh, my, I get everything else from Amazon or TommyBahama.com. That's 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 my shopping. Yeah, yeah. I just, that's just the way it is. Well, it's, eBay. It's I like eBay too. It's eBay is good. Cool. What the hell? He's underwater now. Tim just uh, dove underwater apparently. What the hell's going on there? No idea. There we go. Back. You're back. There You're we back. go. All right. He's not drowning anymore. You guys can stop yeah, worrying we're, about it. We're good. We're good. All right. It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with McNeil. McNeil, what do you got there? I have a rye night. So I'm going to open this restoration rye, or maybe finish this restoration rye from Castle and Keep. Okay. Marginal. Marginal. Tim, you're next. Yeah. All right. We're going to step it up a little bit. I got my Kentucky Owl 11 year. Okay. Right on the pitch. Mm. Nothing. Um, was that 11 year was that the first one when stoli acquired him that was yeah. the best one that was the best one and it was like affordable uh, that Correct. was like 99 bucks or something it was good <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Th- then they like tripled yeah. the price and made shittier whiskey i, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what still, was. yeah it was, it was the 101.8 proof uh yeah i like that it been still on the label i got bottle yep. three out of 218 i got a really nice find on this one when i got it nice uh, well, shine Muller shine. Here we go. Swine on the set. That was uh, that was weak. Um, it's good enough for the lead. It's good enough for the lead. Should not hold on, I don't think. But we'll see. Darren, what do you got? So since Steve just had such a good pop on it, I figured I, I would open my bottle. Leopold Brothers 8-year-old bourbon finished in three-chamber rye barrels. Thank well, you that's very enough. Much. That's enough. There it is. Oh, Darren man. for the win. That is such a great uh, bourbon, man. God damn, that's good. That is really fantastic. It's so. a shame we're already out at the shop. Cheers, yeah, cheers. Cheers. All right, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking about cheap uh, bourbon bar pours. We'll do that in just a few.
Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. I'm Nick New, and you're listening to the Bourbon Daily, home of the hiccup cures. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today, we're talking cheap bourbon bar pours. Yes, we are. So, what uh, what are some favorites when you're when you're looking to save some bucks? I mean, like I said, there's no judgment if you want to get something cool that's expensive. Uh, there you, could be reasons for it, but this we're focusing on the, the value pours, the things that you're like, eh, you know what? I might be having five or six here. I don't want to spend twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, hundred dollars a pour. Um, I want the uh, you know sub twenty. So, what uh, what do you think are some of those ones that we should focus on? My well, first one to go 101 to. bourbon is always bourbon. my first one I look for. I like the rye too. Yeah. Well, yeah. I knew that was going to be your answer. I didn't want to steal your thunder. Right. I like the. Or rare one. breed is sometimes under that 20 mark too. You can't go wrong with that either. Yeah. Tim, what were you getting ready to say? That's it. My, what I find always priced to go is Baker's. Bakers. Whenever you find bakers on the list, you cannot go wrong. That's usually like an eight, maybe nine dollar if they're trying to stretch it. Or uh, I'll take a seven year old 107 proof all day long. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that's, that's a damn solid. shame. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What about McNeil? I mean, Larson needs to be on the list for like 10 bucks. Um, but I was going to say if it's a good bourbon bar and they have their own barrel picks, the barrel picks are never outright outrageously priced yeah okay Primary barrel picks. picks pretty reasonable price okay what i find when you go that route too you ask the you know whoever's serving you the bartender hey were you on that pick or do you know anything about this mm -hmm. you start talking about their own stuff they treat you a little differently mm -hmm. that is a good mm -hmm. move they for a little extra that's a solid yeah. tip there and right there they'll be like if you like that one try this one and you might get Correct. one on so it's a good way to go. go that's, that's a a solid way. that's a solid strategy Mm, I like it. You know, you never ask for it. They're going to offer it. Let me throw that in there for those okay, of you that right. don't. <laughs> All right. All right. What else, Darren? Um, can never I I have like a list. Evan Williams bottle and bond. Can never go mm. wrong with that. Okay. Um old granddad bottle and bond. Old granddad bottle and bond, depending old on Forrester what Forster signature. Is. Old, old Forrester signature. signature. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's solid. That one is just almost harder to find sometimes. Like behind the bar, they'll have it sometimes for making cocktails, but they'll be like, oh, you yeah. want a neat pour of that? And that, that's the whole thing. Um, thing. Same thing with one on one, honestly. But uh, the one that I've uh, like started off doing, and I, when I first started getting really cheap pours at Bourbon Bars, was Knob Creek, just Knob Creek 9. <laughs> There's okay, nothing split. wrong with that, and they're going to be at nope. more than just bourbon bars. You can get a neat pour at dinner or wherever yeah. else you want. They're everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would even throw in Maker's Mark, especially if you're going to know it's a long night, because it's not high proof, but it's right. enough. Make get you where you want to go, and it's not going to be expensive. You can have a couple and still go about all the other things you need to get going about. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. A couple of the ones I find tend to be underpriced is Rowan's Creek and its brother Noah's Mill. Okay. Both those two tend to be solid pours. If you want to dabble in them, it's a great place to do it at a bar. You'll probably get them sub-15. Uh, and uh, they're usually mispriced because not many people know to go for those. So they're trying okay. to move the bottles a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of like my Baker's pull. If I can't see Baker's, uh, one other one I'll throw out there. I actually was at a, a corporate event, and everybody kind of follows what I'm looking. I'm sitting there looking at the bar and everything. A lot of choices from up there, and I ended up pulling just a standard Jefferson's, yeah. Jefferson's yeah. Reserve. Yeah. And everybody came like, "Oh my God, I love Jefferson's Ocean, but this is so much." I said, "It's the same thing, just done differently. Yeah. This is the base spirit, blah blah." So do a little history lesson there and a little education. Whoa. But they, it's a learning value. moment. Exactly, <laughs> uh, and it was a nice. Uh, it's, it's a nice one to your point, McNew. It's like Maker's Mark. It's lower proof. It's going to get you to where you need to, but not get you there fast. And you can't go wrong if you try not to break the bank. Yep. Yeah. 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 There. You so if you're at in this scenario, this okay. is we're going to change the topics a little bit. All right. You're there with Kate Upton. And, uh, you're there yes. with Kate Upton for <laughs> whatever reason. Blowing, we're Karen. in Steve's dreams yes. now. So sure, sure. Yes. Steve dreams about me sitting next to Kate Upton at a bar. It's a whole weird thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so if you're not wanting to ba- break the bank and you're at this bourbon bar, are you more likely to order a cocktail if you're in this type of mood that we were talking about and you're hanging out for a few or are you going to stick to a neat pour um i'm gonna go i don't know there's something to me about i, I just like the neat pour if i'm just hanging out like if it was us going to the bourbon bar i would just still want the neat pours uh cocktail to me is a little bit different scenario maybe it's okay. you know a business thing and then yeah you don't want the cocktail uh, get an old fashioned or something and yeah, nurse that but um i i i'm just with 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 a group like this i i went neat pours and uh several of them well yeah. so that's that would be what i would do you guys I, agree I do like getting cocktails especially when i'm out because somebody sure. professional is making it for me it should be better than what i can do at home and i just like that experience right so so you're dr- um, they're drinking a fuzzy navel or whatever no so like if a paper plane is on the list i absolutely want it an old-fashioned is a pretty easy go-to but it has to be like that kind of bar so if they have a cocktail menu i'm going to order something Sex on the, the beach no a slippery nipple no bourbon <laughs> bars are serving these things <laughs> no. so you get like the bourbon cocktail i think <laughs> Bourbon cocktail yeah. or later. Side of ranch dressing. That's Yeah. So anything else? Any any other lifesavers we got for the folks? Okay. Do you ever have the lifesaver cocktail? You ever have the cherry lifesaver cocktail? Oh. No. Oh, that was always our finishing cocktail when I was in college. We would drink all night, whatever, beer, whiskey, whatever, and then get the cherry lifesaver and head on home. Yeah, that was delicious. It was a lunchbox for us. It, it was our head on home. Really? Oh, was yeah. it? The lunchbox. Okay. Tim, did you have a, uh, 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 let's wrap it up, cocktail? Unfortunately, I, I was part. raising kids by that time, so I haven't had that experience yet. Okay. So we'll find right. out. Well, you'll, you'll get there. when you're. Yeah. I thought he was going to say so more. It- Okay. McDude, did you have a uh, never uh, had it, never will. Nights over uh finishing cocktail? So no, because usually you know me. I don't remember when the <laughs> night's over and I'm usually dragged <laughs> out by somebody. My friends may have had one. I don't remember experience. Okay, like, fair enough. Fun. That's that sounds <laughs> true. Yeah. That is uh, that yes. Yeah, that there you true. go. All right. Well we'll wrap this the night cocktail was cocktail. water. 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 Uh, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. That's water and mean. cold porcelain. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. We'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Darren, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? 
You can find me on Instagram at Deep Urban Adventures. All right, Tim. You can find me on Instagram at SwyGuy2112 and on YouTube at Our Flagship Whiskey. McNew. I'm on Instagram at McNeil ABV. All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find at Steve Akeley, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. You really got to check that out. Everything that we do is out there. Also, come by and see me, the ABV Barrel Shop. You never know what's going on there. The place where you can try before you buy and uh, talk about whiskey, hang out, drink whiskey, uh, to, uh, find out when we're getting new whiskey in. It's a, it's a lot going on there. So, abvbarrelshop.com. Mick, do anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to please give us a five star review that includes comments it helps new people find the show which is very important to us and if you like what we're doing we ask that you please visit our patreon page at patreon.com slash the abv network great job today gang fardance we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow looking forward to that until then take care everybody see ya bye, bye. hey everyone Peace. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing, the ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you are in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.